I've come to realize one thing on my channel. I haven't done a medieval collection video on it. So in this video, I'm going to show off all my medieval factions and figures from my castle collection. I know I've done a lot of Star Wars collection videos and mocks, but I wanted to focus on my second favorite Lego theme, which is castle. So yeah, let's take a deeper dive into all my castle figures. All right, and to start off, we have my Dwarven army. So I only have six of these guys, but it includes a king, two Dwarven knights, a blacksmith, and then some miners flanking him. So yeah, it's just a small army, nothing too crazy. Yeah, let's move on to the next faction. All right, guys, now the next faction is my absolute favorite. These are the crown knights from the uh, fantasy era. I grew up with these guys. These guys are my absolute favorite. So to begin, we have the king in the front, the queen, the princess, the good wizard, the jester, the epic golden knight right behind the king. He's my absolute favorite medieval figure of all time. He goes for a lot of money now, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, he is super cool. He's got the golden sword and everything. Love that golden helmet piece. Yeah, super cool. Behind him, we have three heavy knights and then four pikemen on either side. Then we got all my swordsmen or my footmen behind them. Swords and shields and all. Then over here we have my archers. We got three crossbowmen, two longbowmen right here in the back, and then a heavy archer, which he mans this heavy, heavy archer cannon in the back. And all the way to the left, we have my halberdmen or my axemen. Got four of these guys. One guy's missing a helmet, which kind of sucks. And then we have my pikemen in the back, or excuse me, my spearmen. Got five of those guys. And in the back here, we have five um, heavy cavalry. So all my knights on my cavalry, and then a few extra king figures in the back, so six total. Yeah, these guys are my absolute favorite. I've collected these guys over the years. I have almost the full collection. So yeah, let's move on to the uh, next faction. My dragon knights and my lion knights from the kingdoms line. So over here we got an archer, two swordsmen, and then another dragon knight. He's missing some hands and a helmet. This guy's missing a helmet as well. Then over here we got my lion knights, only three of them, which kind of sucks. But I love this heavy cavalryman lion knight. Love the helmet and the torso print. Then over here we have a flag bearer pikeman. This guy's super cool. Then we have a heavy swordsman right here on the right. He's missing a leg and a helmet, which sucks, but hopefully I can find those soon. I lost a lot of these to the bin, so that's why they're missing a lot of parts. I grew up with these when I was a kid, so yeah, they got kind of beat up and destroyed and lost, which kind of sucks. Yeah, this is what <laughs> this is what remains, so yeah, let's move on to the next faction. All right, so the last two factions, we have my troll warriors and then my skeleton army. So in the front here, we got the trolls got the king and then the witch in the front and we got my heavy troll warrior like a commander and all the swordsmen right here a couple flag bearers then we got some oarmen for the big boat the troll warship we got some bigger trolls in the back got two more but they're in the closet didn't bring them out for this video then we got some more miscellaneous trolls some that are missing some hands and we got some spearmen and some other troll warriors. Then on the left, we got my skeleton army. These guys are my absolute favorite antagonist army for the Lego medieval theme. We got the evil wizard in the front, some heavy skeleton warriors in the front here, the grim reaper, and then the pirate skeleton captain, then all the skeleton infantry. So they got like flails, scythes, spears, scimitars, all that good stuff. Then we got my skeleton cavalrymen. We got the Grim Reaper on the skeleton horse. That looks super cool. I love those skeleton molds. Those just look so awesome. Then in the back, we got two archers. And then we got two more heavy skeleton warriors. Those guys are super cool. I love those helmets. So yeah, that should do it for all my Lego medieval figures. All right, guys, that should do it for this medieval collection video. I hope you guys enjoy. I know I mainly focus on Star Wars, but I hope you guys enjoyed this medieval army collection video. I'm planning on doing way more. I'm hoping to do some more medieval mocks. I'd love to start doing those as medieval is probably my favorite um, theme 
outside of Star Wars. Same with Pirates. I love both of those themes. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time.